Hello and welcome to another Christmas special of Coffee Club. As you can see, we've got uh, two new guests today. Uh, on the left, we'll start with uh, the man with the best mentality at the football club, is Gassan Ahadmi. How are we? You okay? All good. As you can see, he's not got coffee. He's, uh, <laughs> he's got water and that just shows the mentality he has. And on the right, as you can see, it's a man who's been, he's been begging me to come on the show. <laughs> Uh, it is the big boss, it is Mark Ashton. Welcome. Morning, George. How are you? Just for the viewers, uh, what coffee have you got? Black coffee, nice and strong, mate. Nice, mate. Just like your personality <laughs> there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Questions? So I'm not that prepared here. A bit nervous because the big boss is here, so I'll be able to perform, that's right. The gas has been nervous, he's like, you all right? <laughs> I'm okay. Good, mate, good. No pressure, George. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> First question. As Mark's here, and the window is just around the corner. Who will we sign in in Jan? Hopefully, no centre halves. No, I was going to say we could definitely need at least one. <laughs> <don't we? laughs> uh, Can you answer that? It's it's that time of the year again, isn't it? Um, you know, it's, transfer window in January is always difficult. Um, you know, we've said publicly we we're gonna, we are going to try and bring some players in, and I'm convinced we will do that. I'm not going to talk about positions with you two sitting here and yeah. get yourself into a, a world of trouble with a gaffer. Uh, but no, we'll, we'll be active. It'll be busy for us, I'm sure, George. But yeah, um, looking forward to getting a uh, couple more bodies in. Nice, nice. Well, all helps, doesn't it? For the, for the big goal? For the big goal. We all enjoyed a nice lunch yesterday. What's the best part of Christmas dinner? Gas, do you want to start? Yeah, I'll start. I would say that the best part of it is that... Um, we were all together um, as a family, I would say. So it was a nice moment. Nice, nice. And just for you, we had our Christmas dinner as a club yesterday. So uh, it was lovely. Mark organised it, I think. And now I can't take the credit for it. I think Andy Rolls, the chef, uh, all the team at the training ground pulled it together. But, you know, like Gas just said, it was it, actually, it was really good just to, was to, to get everyone together. I did, I did say to Kieran, I said, it's not very often you get everybody together. And hmm. I said, do we really need to sign anybody? <laughs> 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 We're not going to have bodies here. <laughs> no. That was lovely, though, to be fair. That was Thank really good. Man. It was really Best good. Best part of it? Probably watching you have four puddings, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> four, four, four pudding George was, was yeah. the shirt afterwards. <laughs> I just sat there and I was looking, but I was just hiding behind Wes. And then just had my little apple okay. crumble at the end. Okay. That's, that's all I had. But not too much, though, just a small portion. Gas, as practicing <clears throat> as a Muslim, what is the festive period like for you? How does it differ to other religious holidays? Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> me as a Muslim, uh, I don't celebrate Christmas, although it's a time that if I can, um, like all the families that they do celebrate Christmas, mm. they got, uh, so they get together with the family and everything. So more or less it's the same for me, although I don't really celebrate Christmas, but our festive, our first period is um, called Eid Mubarak, and it's um, it's twice a year. Once is um, nice, right? Nice. Yeah. So once is um, <laughs> when Ramadan finishes. When is uh, that? When when's Ramadan? Yeah. So Ramadan every year is like twenty days earlier. So this year we like uh, March April right. ish. So so yeah, that's it. When's the other time you celebrate it? Uh, I can't remember right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember right now. But it's twice. Oh, nice, right? Nice. You're a bit shaky today, George. Yeah, I am actually. You're a little bit shaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it there, it's all right. Careful, what I say. Deep breath, you're all right, George. You're all right. Lads, any family traditions around this time? Um, family traditions, um, wow. Well, um, uh, my daughter Evie, um, you know, most people like to leave a little bit of something for Santa. Um, mm. Evie likes to leave a can of Guinness. Yeah, yeah. Can of Guinness, <laughs> can of, can of Guinness for Santa. She, she's been brought up correctly. <laughs> so Santa gets, uh, yeah, a, a mince pie um, and a good can of, can of Guinness. That's, 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 that's a decent tradition. Does he drink it all? Right, so. Does it? <laughs> <I'm> surprised. <laughs> you have any? Um, as I said, uh, just get together with the family and, mm. and that's it. Gas, David Lloyd's got to be one of your yeah. traditions, mate, by the way. It is, but 
But David Lloyd is my daily tradition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> daily or daily? daily? If you want to see this man, just go to David Lloyd at Twitch and he'll be there yeah. whatever time. <laughs> six in the morning, six at night, whenever. He loves it. Loves it. True. You going to explain what you do at David Lloyd, anything? Do you want sauna? Explain to him about the sauna. Uh, so I normally start with the gym session after training and then I always end up in the sauna. Because that's like a habit for me. So, so yeah, that's it. Working. He has yeah, been working. seen in the pool a few times as well. Yeah, true. I'm not a bad swimmer. <laughs> but I try my best. <laughs> well, that, well, that could be do that. gas. Gas. Come on, come on, though. So I saw gas in the pool. You, yeah. you, you, you know, I'm, I'm an okay swimmer. By the time I finished, I felt like an Olympic swimmer. I had to throw the ring in twice to him to pull him out. Let the shoe go. <laughs> I differ, so I wouldn't say so. <laughs> but you know, listen, you're right in what you say. Gas is such a professional. He's, you know, he's detailed to what he eats, what he drinks. He lives in the gym. He lives the life. Um, we he, actually he, call him Ronaldo at football. I can see why. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo, that is. I can see why. Um, but he's, he's as dedicated a, a footballer as I've, I've ever seen. He is. He is. Thank you. <laughs> you can smile, you know. <laughs> but David got his clothes on Christmas Day, Gas, just so you know. He's got, Honestly, he's now, he's now he's twitching, now he's yeah, panicking. Yeah, I'm sure you can do something for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can we'll make the call, we'll make the call. To be you? fair, he's actually, are you signed, how many gyms are you signed up to? He signed up to a few, I know. Oh, has he? Yeah. yeah 24 that's hour good, gyms. That's good so intel, George. I didn't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So I have another, another membership <laughs> into, into, into a 24 hours gym. That, hey, so, will that be open? Uh, I think yeah, it yeah, might be. Yeah, know. it will be. Wow. Yeah. So he'll be in there, no doubt. He'll probably have weights at home as well. He does probably weights in his sleep anyway. So he'll be doing planks and that. That's how he sleeps in a plank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a prop for this next question. What is the best chocolates from a box of celebrations? You like chocolates? Don't really have them, so I don't really answer this question. You must have had some celebrations still. Surely. Oh, I would say Twix then. Yeah, because that's the best. Yeah, because that's the only one. Uh, on, that's the only one I know. It's a good question, that's George. I know for a fact what I'm going as the worst. Go on, what's your worst? Bounty. Yeah, it's, it's the worst. Milky, isn't it? The worst one. It's like coconut. Mm. It's not honestly gas. No. You know, for a chocolate, you want something like sweet. No? Yeah, and no. Bounty's just horrible. I've got to say, the whole celebrations box really disappoints me when you look at them. It's, Does it? Yeah. yeah, it's not the best. It's not the oh. best. You can't be a bit Cadbury's, can you? No. Yeah, I do agree, Cadbury's. But I'd go Maltese are best. Galaxy normal. Really? Yeah. Caramel. Get some teeth and that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you know, I have a problem with that. Uh, <laughs> Twix, Snicker. The caramel one, Mars. Oh no, Milky Way Mars. You know, you know a lot of detail about these chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you actually open it, all the Maltese ones are gone. So I don't know who that's down to, but uh, probably the man behind the camera. That's so that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. But that's why I would go. Yeah. Personally, I'd probably take the Mars first. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Oh, yeah, I would. More of a snicker, man. Old school. I don't mind them. I feel like they get a bit sickly. If you have too many. Yeah, but they're only little ones now, aren't they? Yeah, but there's about 50 in there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favourite Christmas film and is Die Hard a Christmas film? Ask me first, or guess. Have you seen Die Hard? Uh, I haven't seen Die Hard, but I'm answering what? the... Well, maybe I have, but I don't know how. Yes, we go get you at the gym a bit. Yeah, yeah, we have to get you at the gym a bit. <laughs> no, maybe I know their name in Spanish, but right now that uh, I don't know. But answering the the first question, um, alone at home. No. <laughs> I'm translating. I'm translating. I'm translating in, in, in Spanish. Home alone. Home alone. Okay. Home alone. I don't. <laughs> I mean, oh, my God, so can I just say, you know, when he, when he comes on a sub and the, the gaffer's giving him those yeah. notes, can you, you might want to mention the gaffer, he's reading them backwards. <laughs> Hello. I thought about it in, in Spanish, so I translated directly. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you get the yeah, yeah. Just the first one? Uh, like the best one or two? Yeah, the three? first one. The first one. Yeah, yeah. It's a typical one for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm with you. Home Alone's Home a classic. Alone. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a classic. I think there is a few you could pick though. Yeah. Elf. Yeah, that's like. good. Elf, yeah, I can see uh, you. I can see you in that outfit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I come to training and everything. Um, what's the? Is it the Santa Claus one? Where he turns, it falls off the roof. I forgot the actor. That, that, that tends to be a general theme in Christmas movies. Yeah. Santa falls off the roof. <laughs> oh, and he like turns into him. And he got oh my, I can't even remember the actor. I, I, I do apologize. He's really there. Yeah. Come on, come on. You're nearly there. Come on, man. Oh, you'll have to Google it. There's like an, it's an original one. It's quite newish. And I can't remember the name of it. I'm not sure. I'm not it's a bit, not like big actor. George, in the as film. usual, I have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> and is Die Hard a Christmas film? No. No? No, it's just a movie. It's on Christmas Eve. Okay. That's why. So people class it as a Christmas but, film. Mm, like yeah. it's set. You'd like it, yes. Yeah. You'd like yeah. it, yeah. yeah. I, I, think it I, I could see you in Die Hard, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah you, could. you could play a good, good yeah. role in that. Hey, what is it about? Guns. Um, yeah. Guns. Guns. Mm. Action. Yeah, hotel. Guns, action, hotels, things blowing up. Yeah. Why would it be People a... People hostage, next yeah. minute. Okay. Big Bruce Willis, you know who he is? Yeah. And yeah, you'd like... He's in there. Watch it, Gas. Yeah, okay. no, tell you what, we'll get David Lloyd to put it on. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, <you're trying. laughs> Easier. <laughs> I'll watch it then. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a Christmas film. I think you can, you can have that as a Christmas film. Do you? No. Yeah. No? It's a milky answer, Joe. <sighs> Good. Well, I'm, I'm classy yeah. anyway, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might need to be phrasing. Do you prefer giving or receiving? Presents. <laughs> presents, like, yes, yes, presents. presents. Um, I think... Oh, I mm, it depends giving. what it is, no, I think. Definitely giving. Definitely giving presents. Giving, yeah? Yeah, giving. Giving. Yeah, definitely. Now, it's always all about you, George. It's receiving yeah. you. Let us be honest about George. I don't mind receiving one every now and then, but uh, I think you'd have to say giving, really. Yeah, definitely. Giving, to, yeah. to be honest. And I think we're down to the last question. Is there anything in particular you would like about the festive football? Is there anything in particular you like about the festive football period? The festive football meaning? As in, like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. yeah. New yeah. Year's. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, in Spain, uh, that doesn't happen. No. So, no. Yeah, so they stop uh, during the festive mm -hmm. days, so there's no games. And uh, I think that for the people that they are at home and they can't, don't have, for example, that they are not working and that uh, it's a good opportunity for the people, for example, to get down to the, uh, to the stadiums and watch football uh, with the family, because mm -hmm. as I said, the families get together. It's a it's a good way to to have good and nice moments with the family, enjoying, for example, the team that you support. Mm. So I think that um, the football in England, uh, when they play during these days, I find it um, ideal. So I think it's really good. Mm. Your job must be busy Christmas period. Yeah, it, it, it is all, yeah. all year round, to be honest with you. But, yeah. but I, you know, like, like Gas just said, I think it's the, it's the, it's the coming together of people. Um, I always think particularly the, the Boxing Day fixture, it's, it's great to be at home um, because, you know, you normally say it's going to be a big crowd. But in saying that, with Ipswich, yeah, yeah. it's always big crowds. It's always a big crowd. Stadium's not big enough to get bigger crowds. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just looking looking uh, ahead of the, the the Oxford game. You know, there's we've sold over twenty eight thousand tickets with four hundred travelling from Oxford. So the majority of that is is Ipswich fans. It's incredible. Yeah, it, 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 I've never been at a club where the fan base it, I don't think is either so passionate or so big or gets behind the boys so much. It, mm. It's it's incredible. So. That coming together, it's, there is like a magic magic feeling about the Boxing Day fixture. So it's just for me. It's a good fixture. It's, 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 it's great. And, mm. and, you know, it's nice for the staff as well. We're, we're working. So Christmas Day is match day minus one. We're all in on, on Christmas Day. Um, oh, yeah, there's staff. 
Yeah, we'll be in. Oh, yeah, we, do, we, do, we do do things. <laughs> things <though. laughs> we do. <laughs> you don't just turn on play on a Saturday. Um, I thought it was just honestly. I, no, I, I no, thought we'll it was just players. To be no, honest, no, we'll, I we'll, didn't really know we'll, stuff was. We'll be in. We'll be in. The grass has got to be cut and things. Yeah, like that, so. do you forget about that? To yeah. be honest, you just think it's it's so, players really. But it's nice because everyone comes together and you know families will be at the game. Um, well, and, um, obviously because we it changes from club to club. So I've been in like. 7 p.m. sometimes at the stadium sometimes i've been in at like half eight nine is the staff just a normal day or will it be no you tend to you we, we trust the staff and we say like match day minus one match day minus two you know what your jobs have got to do hospitality you've got to set up for the boxing day yeah, ground yeah. staff have got to be in ground staff will be on call so if if the forecast is a frost they've got to be in to put the covers on the pitch well, or the security will be working but it's kind of yeah every works different hours so we trust the staff just to do what you've got to do we've got right, really sure. really good staff yeah, yeah. behind the scenes and i think it, you know it's important that the fans probably understand that there's a team that sits behind the team um you know ticketing are working all the way through retail are working all the way through you know the the, the staff are fantastic here and you do forget no they're, 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 they're just great. They, they're, like they're great. And they work really, really hard. magically done kind of thing but <laughs> they, they work hard brilliant i think that's a, a good note to end coffee club on so uh boys big man thank you thanks for the pleasure course. thank you so as always that's been coffee club and that's been our christmas special so uh thank you for watching and good morning good evening and good night <laughs>